Since we're taking care of painting all the miscellaneous pieces, such as the handles and the side skirts and the deck lid and the T-top piece and some more in the mirrors, our next step is taking care of the jams on the car. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to take these doors off and I'm going to take the uh, hood off and I'm going to take that in the booth and paint that. Then once I get through painting them, I pull the car in the booth and paint the jams on the car. So let me go ahead and take these doors and hood off. Then I'll cut you back on. Yeah, I got it dismantled. I already untuck the doors and the hood and the booth. Now I can get paint where I need to get it at now without having no problems. I started thinking. I think I'm going to paint this with the jams. Then I ain't got to worry about painting it when I paint the car. I'm going to paint all this plus the T-top to back here. Then when I paint the car, I just mask it off. Let me take you in the blue fire and show you show you what I got. This is what I got here. Once I took the doors and the hood off the car, I had washed it up with some soap and water to get rid of the dirt and grime that was on it. Especially these doors because they was caked up with dirt where the hinges was. That's one reason why I took them off because I couldn't clean them up good and I couldn't paint them good with all that dirt on them. So I did that. I also seen some imperfections when I took them off that I didn't see when they was on the car. I had wiped this with two part these little pinholes. I just put some some of this here on it. Which when I started blocking it probably would have tucked them little pinholes out but I just wiped it. I don't know how I missed this spot here but I did. Let me turn these doors over. I got them turned over because once I washed them, they was full of water. I was just trying to dry them out. But let me turn them over and we'll get started. Alright, got the doors turned over. I had wiped it down some more because I seen some dust on some of the spots that I didn't get when I was outside. You just want to clean them up real good before you start sanding them. But I had sanded these doors on the car when I had did the body work. But I'm going to hit it again on some of the spots that I probably miss. In this hood, I got to hit this. And I'm going to use some scotch bright. I'm going to ruin scotch bright. And this is the 07447. I'm just going to use this to sand it. Scuff everything up. That's all you got to do. And I believe I'm going to take these stickers off because you can't see anything. They faded and... Half up coming off anyway. I'm just gonna use a heat gun to get them off. This in here been painted already. And I'm gonna paint these bolts black. I'm just gonna use some spray paint to paint all these. I'm gonna paint the back side of this gas cover. Then I'm gonna paint the other side when I paint the car. And these hinges, I'm just going to spray paint these also with black spray paint. Alright, let me get the sand then we'll be good to go. I heated up with the heat gun and got most of it off. Well, I got the outer layer off. I just got to get this adhesive up. 
And I'm just going to use some wax and grease remover on the rag. Wipe it. It should come right up. There you have it. Just had to hit it about three times. Came on up. Once it dry, I scuff this area here up. So you gotta do this. That's all you gotta do. Just scuff it up. So the painter has something to burn to. I'm just about ready to shoot some bass now. I've been masking everything off. I put some soft edge tape right here because I got to spray these hinges here. And I'm going to be spraying at an angle. And I ain't want to get no paint on the primer. Which I'm going to sand it anyway, but I just want to make my job a lot easier when I start sanding it. Got this mask off because I'm going to spray this flat black. The handle mask. The glass is still in the door, so I had to mask it off. I would have took it out, but it was a lot easier masking it off. Also, got these bumpers masked off because the screw, it was stripped out. I couldn't get them off. Got the motor covered up. Tuck the latch off. I'm going to paint it probably flat black too. When I paint the hinges, I got to put this over here somewhere. Probably put it right here. Paint it when I paint the door. And when I start shooting the clear, I'm going to flow, flow coat these mirrors. Got them sanded down. I just sanded them down with 400 because I don't plan on wet sanding these. So I'm gonna try to get it flat as I can and glossy as I can. So let me finish on up. I gotta wipe everything down with some wax and grease remover. Then I think I'll be good to go. I'm mixing up the base now. I still got to put the reduce in it. I put 14 ounces of material, so it mixes two to one. So I have for 14 would be seven. It's gonna bring it up to 21 ounces with the reducer. And I'm using this Eurocam Slick Base Light Sunset Gold Metallic. And I'm gonna be spraying my base coat with my Satterjet 5000. I'm gonna spray my base coat and my candy coat with this one here. And I'm gonna spray my clear coat with this out water. WS-400 Supernova.
finished up with the gold base. It's been about 20 minutes. It's a run on both doors. It's not for me. It was already here from the previous panel. I didn't worry about getting it out because it's at the bottom of the door. You ain't gonna be able to see it. Let me show you the other one. Right here. But it's a little one now. But you can't see it once the door is on. It's at the bottom of the door. I got my mirrors wrapped up in a bag so no overspray won't get on them until I spray the clear. Let me take you over here with my candy coat at. Here's the candy. I already got it activated. It mixes photo one. It's the eye candy, emerald green by your account. Just to activate it here. Can the coat apply it? Looks like it's been cleared, but it hasn't. I unmask these mirrors probably after my first coat of clear on all these parts. I probably just put two coats of clear on these mirrors. Flow coat them. I'm going with a high solid glamour clear by Uricam. Put three coats of clear on it. That should be good.
the stars. Right from the bottom to the top, from the 